Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, so this is going to be in reference to an MAM instruction. This is something commonly done and uh, as, as actually come up a few times in, uh, since the training's been out. Uh, but something I wanted to go over because this is, uh, it's obviously, uh, kind of gets a little confusing if you're using MAMs with uh, MAPCs, which are very common. Uh, so... Uh, again, this is uh, an error 94 is what the problem is, or a 93, I'm sorry. So it's an ERR 93, and how this gets developed is if you're trying to use a cam or a lock position or lock direction, um, then you'll end up getting an, a, uh, a problem if you're using that on an MAM. So um, first and foremost, what I'll do is I'll actually show you. Uh, you know, So I won't actually... Uh, We'll actually just change this real quick. Actually, let's, let's first off, um, let's show that the system works like it's supposed to, right? So, um, we'll go ahead and uh, get the system working. We'll cut it on. Um, after it's on, we can do an incremental move, uh, which this, in, in this case, would be the... Uh, We have a uh, certain uh, input for that. So we can do an incremental move. Um, and this, what this does is it tells it to go to that position. Um, as soon as it goes to that position, it, it goes into a PC and everything's clear. So that shows you that it was working. Um, now, what I will do is actually come back and change this now to make it actually do that, uh, that error we were talking about. So if you actually run a um, immediate forward only, immediate reverse only, position forward only, or position uh, reverse only, either one of these, all four of these exactly, will cause a uh, error on the MAM. And I'll show you that. So, uh, so we immediately we immediately got an error. Okay, so now the reason for this error, <clears throat> and I'll show you. So first, we'll come up and we'll do our troubleshooting and we'll come up to the uh, monitor the tag. We'll look at the tag and we'll see that uh, this was actually a 95. Um, in a 95, what this would do, uh, so basically let's go back. Let's go back to the instruction help. And let's go down to the errors. So in the errors, um, we can go down to 95. And it will show you. Let's pull this down a little bit so you can get a better view. Um, so uh, again, so this is a, a, a 95 is what I want. So you can get many of these. Uh, you can get... Uh, Actually, not just 95. You can, I think you can get a 93 as far as that goes as well, too. And that's what I was talking about. So what this is telling you is it's saying that uh, all instructions in the queue must be must use a compatible lock direction. Uh, for an example, a position forward only and an immediate forward only. Lock and lock direction in the uh, none or speed uh, units belong to the master driven mode so um, in this case we're not using the uh, driven system right so we're not using that at all and if you actually look in Rockwell's knowledge base about this what it does highlight uh, um, is a coordinated motion system so it's telling you that uh, if you're using a MATC or a MAPC or a M um, MCLM, I believe it is, is a coordinated motion. Let me show you that one. Um, this is uh, right here. Actually, no, sorry. Get this right. Motion, uh, the coordinated motion. It's the M MCLM or the MCCM, which is a coordinated motion, which is basically uh, multiple axes running at one time. This is saying that all of them aren't using in that uh, using that function. So um, they're all not in the proper 
designated uh, you know turn there are not all immediate or they're not all position or you know whatever the case may be in this case we'll go to immediate uh, we'll do the same exact thing we'll cut our servo on come in here and we'll run it okay so we immediately errored back out okay so let's check that error code again make sure we're right yeah it's it's, it's 95 this time so uh, both of them were, were still on 95. Um, you can get an instance where they are uh, different. They, they could be a 93. Um, either way, what you're going to see, I believe that 93 is what I looked at knowledge base, and that's what it was telling me. Uh, a 93 and 95 are not that far away from each other. What I wanted to show you is if, if you did use that lock direction, right, which you would think if, if you're using a lock direction, you're locking it either forward or reverse. Um, yeah, you, you, you know, you are, but in different instructions and not necessarily. So if you were using this in, in a different instance, um, you would, it may be, um, it may be better fit, but I would say it's a rare, a rare instance where you need to do that. Nine times out of 10, this lock direction is exactly, uh, should be set to none in a MAM. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start this again and then we'll execute that command and the servo moves okay so then it again it it increments down to uh a hundred or 320 in the position count so and each one of these is and we're set to incremental move so this is not absolute uh the move type is incremental so if, if you notice that that's why i can keep indexing it um, if it was set to uh, absolute, then obviously it would be in the position that it's currently in and it would not be able to move. The main focus of this um, is troubleshooting an MAM. So if you do, um, and uh, again, this is kind of derived off the, the course itself. Some people have tried to put in MAMs and they've set, they uh, set the lock di direction in here and they set it to different things and it kept erroring out. So I figured... Well, the best thing to do is make a video on it so to show why and uh, to actually uh, help out but in that same focus um, <clears throat> what I wanted to highlight too is again the uh, the um, lock uh, lock direction right here if you have to be set to none right so there's there's rare instances where you need to be set to um, you know actually use it but uh, if we go back to our errors uh, let's see I think I want to show you this it's very very helpful uh, 93 I think it is yeah move was programmed to the, these all have to do with uh, motion uh, direct commands so uh, which is completely different than anything that I'm actually showing you so uh, when it comes to that I believe those are right here direct on direct off uh, direct start um, you know you can do different things with this uh, with as far as that goes um, then then there's the uh, motion driven uh, axis and stuff like that that's really what this is pertaining to um, and so and those those three right there are, are basically you know they work in conjunction as far as the same kind of functions you have your MAPC, which is position based. You have your time. Uh, then you have your MATC, which is time based. And then again, your uh, motion uh, master driven system. So, uh, not to get too far into that. And also, I wanted to show you too that recovery of any error, and the reason I, I program error bits is so that the state machine can actually recover. But to recover a, a instruction out of an error and into a natural state again is to actually correct the problem and then re-index the um, the instruction so you may have caught that when i did that right so let me actually run it again i'll show you see it's it's healthy it has a dn it has the ip so it's running right now the pc happens when it's complete now let's do the same exact thing let's come up here and let's change the lock direction 
doesn't matter which one we do, they're all going to fault, so no worries. Um, so now I'm going to do it again. It aired out. Okay, so it went into an error. So instead of having to like have a reset that resets this bit or just toggling the bit or whatever the case may be, what you want to do is fix the problem. So once you've isolated a problem and the situation is working correctly, the, the, the instruction is working correctly, then you are able to actually uh, come in here and see it's still an error. If, you, if I hit this button again, it's going to index the instruction again. And I've already corrected the problem, so it will actually reset the error bit and start running. Just like that. So that is exactly how you should do that. Uh, I wouldn't worry about putting in special programming or anything like that. If you have an error, it will automatically clear the instruction. So as long as it's, it, the error is fixed, if you do not fix the error, then obviously it's still going to be there. Then you need to troubleshoot it just like you know we've been teaching and just like I've shown in many different atmospheres in, in this training. So um, one thing I did want to highlight though, again, in this the, the reason for this video is this has come up several times um, is this lock this lock direction and what it does and, um, and corresponding with the MAM it, it, it does have a good function as far as that goes in um, you know MAPCs and MATCs and obviously in the uh, MDAC so um, again I just want to uh, highlight that and show you you know how to get out of it and um, you know, if you haven't run into that, just something for you to, to you know, to keep out a look for. Because if you do run into it, there's a simple fix, right? So again, um, hopefully that was helpful, and um, you know, you can carry on with the training and just uh, let me know how you how you like it. If you need some support or you need anything, just feel free to reach out. Okay, thank you for your time, and uh, hope I hope like I said, hope everything's going well, and uh, just keep on with the next video.